Hey there, everybody. Rivka Slacken here with my husband, Shlomo. Welcome, Hi, Shlomo. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I'm wanting to record this video for those of you that have been talking a lot about being quarantined with your spouse. You're normally the parent. You have your, you know, your routine style. with the kids, your style of parenting. Suddenly your spouse is home and all of a sudden he or she's looking over your shoulder, kind of like pointing things out maybe that you normally let slide that the kids are doing or just kind of upsetting your routine. And I think people are frustrated out there because they thought it, they had it under control and all of a sudden now it's like somebody else is there ruining things for you. So I'm bringing in Shlomo, who is a marriage therapist. He works with couples from all over the world in all stages of relationships, whether it's people that are newly married, people that want to make a good marriage great, or couples that are actually in crisis and they're thinking about separating or divorce. So he has a lot of insight, and I thought it would be helpful to bring him in on this conversation. Yeah. So what do you suggest, Shlomo? Come well, closer. it's actually interesting because what, you know, when I th think of this question, I, I think I've, I've gotten this question before, uh, but obviously not re related to quarantine, but actually regarded to blended families. So a lot of times with a blended family, you have the biological parent, the biological parent, and then you have this new person kind of coming in. Now, obviously, I wouldn't want to say that if you're a married couple that the spouse is completely, you know, a new, new person. Obviously, you're in the picture, but uh, a lot of times one spouse is really only home, you know, maybe for bedtime and then on the weekends. And you might have some of these issues already during those times. But thinking about that and thinking about, you know, just kind of disrupting everything. You need time to kind of get used to this. Hopefully, we won't have to get used to this reality. It won't be a, the new normal, but at least for now, we have to. And it's important to be respectful that this the parent who is doing primarily doing the parenting or has been doing the parenting for, until now um, has their own way of doing things. And to just kind of step in and criticize or try to change things or rebuke them in front of the kids is not helpful and is really not fair. I realize that it's hard to be stuck in the situation and wanting things to be different, but it's important to be respectful of the role that the, par the primary parent has played till now. That's number one. Number two, have a conversation with your spouse, not in front of the children, after they go to bed and say, and of course, appreciate. I appreciate everything you've done that you do for our kids. Um, think about some of the really important things. You know, this. This is not the time to nitpick over or with silly little things. I mean, think about what's going on in the world right now. This is not a time to to argue about silly little things, even though we, we, you know it's happening. Um, so just put things into perspective. Is it really important that I make sure that you're parenting exactly the right way? We kind of just have to get through the day sometimes. We just have to like you know, if you have to put them in front of the computer, put them in front of the computer. That's why everyone's quiet right now. Um, <laughs> in our house, yeah. You know, it's like sometimes you just have to roll with the flow and the thing that we learn most in relationships, we always say, you have to learn how to be flexible. It's not going to go your way. Your ideal schedule is not going to happen. Uh, you can definitely make an effort. It doesn't have to be a chaos, but things aren't always going to go the way that you want them. So if your spouse is not parenting the way that you want, or you think your kids need to be educated a certain way, and they're you're going to ruin them for life. Now is not the time to get on your soapbox and preach. Now is the time to roll with the flow, roll with the punches, if something really, really bothers you, make a time to talk to your spouse about it. Talk about how you can work together. And that's what I would suggest. So those are great suggestions, but that is for a spouse who's coming in. What about the spouse who is the one parenting? What should they be doing to say to their spouse? Like, if, and if the spouse is criticizing them, right. what do they do? So, yeah, I think that making a time and talking about having what we teach couples is a process, a dialogue process, a model dialogue process. But um, regardless, making a time when you're both calm, when everyone's in bed and say, you know, I know this has been difficult for us. It's been a change. You know, I'm used to doing this and now I'm hearing, you know, you're criticizing me for how I handle the kids. And, you know, I know how to handle the kids. I've been doing this for umpteen years and, you know, we seem to be pretty happy. Um, so it's hard for me when you come in and just start telling me what to do or telling the kids what to do or kind of in, kind of interfering. So I would like to just talk to you about like what can we do together to acknowledge kind of what I've already been doing and find ways to implement maybe some of your ideas as well, but without it kind of sabotaging, you know, all of the effort I put 
until now? Because whatever you're doing to whatever routines you've established, this is something that you've been doing for, for quite a while. And to just come in and undermine that is not helpful. Mm -hmm. So to be able to say that in a nice way, not a not a hysterical way, not a critical way, but just you know, from, from a call from a place of calmness to really share what it is that you're feeling. I think that's tremendously helpful. There's so many nuggets in there that you said, like one is, you know, having a calm, clear way of stating your feelings without any hysterics, but just really calmly asking for what you want, sitting down when the kids are in bed, private, so no blow ups, you know, no yelling or shaming in the room in front of the kids. Yeah. And so then really lowering your expectations. This is not a time, like you said, where suddenly we are homeschoolers and we are living in a perfect homeschooling world. Like we have to really set the bar kind of low here just for survival. It sounds like. Yeah. And this is up to, like one of my kids today, he was like, who occupies himself a lot. He'll read for hours. He's like, I'm bored. He really wanted to watch something on the computer. So he's like, I'm bored. It's like, I'm like, like, find something else to do. It's like, 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 I'm trying to get, I need a few minutes to get some work done today also. It's a, it's, it's a big challenge for everybody. And we just have to be able to be happy with the situation we, ha we have and look for the good in each other in our lives and just get through the day until they get to bed, obviously. <laughs> but if you have teenagers, that's right. never. <laughs> right, right. Well, I think that's very helpful. And I'd be curious to hear from all of you watching if you have any questions on this topic of, you know, how to communicate with the spouse when you're, you've been parenting all this time and suddenly they're home with you and they're coming in and criticizing you. If you have any questions on that topic or you'd like us to cover another question or another topic that you have about being married under quarantine, let us know. Don't hesitate to email us or Facebook message us at the marriage restoration project.com or Facebook message the marriage restoration project, or you can also visit our website, the marriage restoration project.com and contact us there to send your question that you'd like to see answered. Thanks for watching. Take Thank care. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.